I test a lot of new AI tools every single week, and Manus AI is one of the most impressive AI tools I've ever used. Manus AI, this is what it looks like. If you haven't heard of it before, it's a new general AI agent, and it looks like a chatbot, but it does a whole lot more than that. And the best way I could actually explain it to you is show it to you in action here inside of my Manus account. Now the website is manus.im and at the time I'm recording this, this is invite only. If you go to their website right here, you could press get started and you could ask for an invite code, request access, and they will email you when it becomes available. Right now, even with the invite code, I could only use it like a couple of times a day before it hits its limit. And I have seven really practical use cases that I wanted to show you with this video. The first one is analyzing a stock. So this is what I did. Let me just show you here. And by the way, this takes quite a long time. Sometimes it takes an hour to do this full research, but you'll see exactly why, because it combines deep research, which is something you have inside of Gemini and OpenAI has a version of deep research, Perplexity has deep research, but it combines it with different things like really advanced analysis, something called operators that OpenAI has where you could take control of a website and fill in all the blanks. So I'll show you some use cases with that. But right now, this is what it did. Let me go ahead and share this so I could play it as a video. And you could share this link, by the way, with other people so they could see the workflow and get the documents that it creates, okay? It creates a checklist for itself, right? Like if you gave this task to someone that will create a checklist and start working through that checklist, it does a full deep research and it goes through dozens and dozens of different websites. If the websites have a field that it has to fill out, it will do that. If it hits a captcha, it will ask you to take over manually. You'll see a pop-up over here. And it literally will take maybe 30 minutes, an hour. I've even had to take an hour and a half on a really deep dive, complicated question here that I'll show you as an example here. And then when it's done, this was a really sped up version of the video every time you share it. This is what you get out of it. Right on top, if I click this, it created all these different documents here. It wrote code. You see all these different Python, JSON type codes it created for itself in order to achieve more <laughs> than what it was able to just from deep research. So here's the to-do. Microsoft stock analysis to-do list, data collection. These are the steps for that analysis and then report and these three reports, okay? So that's the starting point. And when you watch it in real time, you can see it's going through and it's checking off its own task. Here's the price analysis and you kind of see that. Here's the full research for that and all these different documents. And then right here, analysis recommendation and then investment recommendation. Obviously I'm gonna do my own research and this is not gonna be financial advice for me even, but it's a really good analysis that he put together. Some of the research I was doing on my own kind of came to the same conclusion on this. Based on the comprehensive analysis of Microsoft, we recommend a buy rating for a long-term investor at the price of 388. I think I did this a day or two ago. And here is the rationale behind it. It makes a whole lot of sense if you read through it. A lot of times, AI tools that I test out, they could be impressive. They could have a really interesting facade, interesting user interface, interesting way they work. But when you actually see the output, you're like, well, that doesn't really make much sense. And I've seen that over and over again. But this, I have read through all these different findings here and they make a lot of sense. And I could even look in their risk opportunity here and see the key risks that it included in the final analysis. But if I want a deeper research in any of the earlier analysis that it did, I can jump in and read more about it and actually see where it got those sources from. Okay, this next use case, let me go ahead and press play on this one. This one is it could analyze and research a specific product. In this case, I asked it to research pretty much the entire AI landscape, not just a single product which they had in their demo. So I asked it for the top 50 practical AI tools for business. And in my prompt, I asked it to create a scoring system from one to 100 and then assign a score, organize everything into a list starting from one and then give me a reason why everything is scored the way it is. So let me jump to the end. This one took quite a long time, okay? And if I go to the breakdown over here, you could see it created the to-do list, and this is pretty comprehensive to-do list here. And some of the research that it did was inside of each category, for example, finance and accounting, it found tools directly related to that. 
and the ones that have some kind of AI built into them, it labeled those accordingly and then added it to the list for CRM, for HR, project management, marketing, customer service. It broke it down in every single category. And then if I go right here, the rank list, this is the rank list that it created for us. Top 50 AI tools for business, ChatGPT, Midjourney, Copilot, Jasper, Notion, Intercom. So you could kind of go through and see the reasoning for each one. And a lot of them are not the most popular AI tools. It's specific to business, right? Otter AI, for example, or Zapier, right? They may not make the top 10 AI tool list in broad AI category, but in the world of business, this is one of the ones I use all the time. We use N8N now all the time too, which is an AI agent builder. Obviously, some of these are very obviously useful. And this is one of my favorite options right here, this option, which all these should just add to their platform, export to PDF. Just like that, I have a full PDF document. Now the formatting could improve. There's a little bit of margin that should probably be added over here, but I could combine this with other AI presentation tools like Gamma, turn it into a really cool presentation here, and then export that, share that with my team, even present it to my team if I need to convince them of why they should use a specific AI tool. Now, this next use case is for creating interactive courses. So creating courses, obviously something I do all the time. I've done it for many, many years. I think mean, eight years now I've been creating courses outside of YouTube, but this creates interactive courses, which is a really more interesting way to learn in my opinion than just watching videos like this. Like if you could interact with this video, it would be much more visually interesting and I think you'll retain more information. So that's what this does. Let me skip to the end results here. And it gave me this document here that I downloaded. So it created an entire website basically and I opened the website and this is the website here. So instead of just making a boring text-based blog as a course, we got ourselves an interactive thing over here where we could go ahead and play, right? How cool is that? And you have different things you could go ahead and press play on. And it literally create that from a single text prompt. It's incredible here. I could publish this website, make it a little bit nicer maybe with some more styling, but very cool way to learn. Now, in the last six days that I've had this, I haven't been able to run a data analysis. So I'll give you an example here. This is the next use case that I think is really interesting. You could analyze documents, but one of the most interesting parts of that, especially as a business owner, is analyzing the operations of a business. And right here, the prompt just says, here's last month's sales data, analyze it, create visuals, recommend specific data-driven strategies. And I'm gonna go ahead and look at all the different things that he created for us. It created a bunch of different graphics here that I could add inside of any type of presentation. You can see all these different PNGs that it created for us. And on top, key insights, this is what I was looking for. And here's the key insights, weekly trends, day of the week patterns, outliers, right? This is really useful for most businesses to find outliers so you could double down on things that work very well. All right, so all that is included just from this one spreadsheet. Here's a heat map that it created for us. It created this graph for us, right? So incredible way to speed up deep research with your own data. That is gonna save a ton of time for most people. Now, this other one's a really interesting use case too. Find potential B2B customers. It's a lead gen AI agent. We are a tech consulting firm with in-depth research and technology in the gen AI field. And he's saying to create a customer form for us to target companies in America, B2B companies, and it gives more specifics about what stage of funding they're in. So a really good prompt here to really dial into their customer avatar that they're looking to get. Okay, it created all these different documents. You can see a lot of these are based on code here. So these are JSON, so Python code here. This was the to-do list that he worked on. But if I go to the end of this search and if I click right here, look at this dashboard that we got. Total companies 15, seed stage eight. And if I scroll down, look at literally all the companies. I could go directly to those pages. Wow, this is insane. I mean, I have to do this for my own companies here, but look at the information we got out of there. Now, this is one of their demos, so I need to test this out for myself. Looks like the location part is left blank. But wow, this is incredible right here. And this was one of my favorite options as well. SEO audit 
to optimize a website, I mean, the prompt is super simple. Run this through an audit and deliver a detailed optimization report with actionable recommendations for this website. So we got an SEO audit report. Let's go ahead and check that out. Okay, here are the key findings, strength, critical issues, no sitemap, no robot TXT, no schema. Yeah, these are, I know enough about SEO to know you really have to get these dialed in, secondary issues. And look at all these different documents, by the way, that it created where you could learn more about the backlinks. So here's related to backlinks. Here is related to content analysis, the on-page information on the website and given a very specific information on that. I mean, how practical is this? Usually we'll have to combine a bunch of different AI tools and non-AI tools to get this research and then figure out what to do with each one. This created all these actionable items for us based on technical analysis, stuff on the homepage, backlinks, SEO audit, wow. And I actually wanted to wait before I made the video because I wanted to try it for myself. I saw these demos early on and they were super impressive. This tool went super viral, but these days I really need to test the tool for myself before I believe all the demos that they've put out there. And I did test it out for myself. I think that the first three or four examples I showed you were things I tested out for myself and it was insanely useful. Now, hopefully they let more people in and if they give me an invite code, I'll make sure I pin it to the top comments in this video. And if you haven't had a chance to check out the new Skill Leap AI, we have a brand new website. We've released new courses. This Notebook LM course was released in the last month. This new Canva Magic Studio is a brand new course that we completely created from scratch to teach you how to create graphics in a much easier way. And we're updating some of these existing courses. And I'm also adding new automation course that I'm working on right now. There's a course on digital marketing coming up. This one is getting released in the next few weeks. So this is a platform with over 20 courses and we're adding about 10 more in the coming months. And you could subscribe for one fee. It has a free trial and you get access to everything, including our community. So I'll link that below too, if you wanna jump in and learn more about Skilly. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video.